Hi guys, it's uh, Enam Kafour here. I'm in my car at the moment and what I'm going to show you in this video is how to play music from a micro SD card to your head unit of your car. Now in this example, uh, my car is a VW Golf. Uh, as you can see there, it's got the Volkswagen Beta head unit in there. We're not going to change the head unit um, because in this example we want to keep costs down to a minimum. The audio quality coming from the head unit is perfectly good enough uh, so we don't need to change it and uh, I know there's other methods out there in the sense of you can use CD changes plugged into your head unit uh, which play music fine but it's 2012 do people still use CDs in their cars uh, and basically every time you get a new music are you meant to if you download it from uh, online are you meant to burn it onto CD then put it on into your car are you going to be using a lot of CDs if you download a lot of music so in this example, I'm going to show you how you can use a micro SD card to transfer music from either your PC or your smartphone to the card itself and then play it through the normal head unit and your normal speakers in your car. So what we're going to be doing, I'm just going to zoom out a little bit so you can see that. I'm going to be using, this is called X-Car Link and if we just open it up, this is specific for uh, make and model of the car because of the software that it runs. It costs about $85 from the XCar Link website. Um, so if we just open that up on this side, we've got the instruction manuals there. It's pretty straightforward, so I'm not going to use those. So if we don't open that up and here, I'll just you, show you what's on this side. On this side, you've got the connectivity options there, which are basically USB, SD card, and a line in audio being a 3.5 millimeter audio jack. And what comes with it is you've got the 3.5 millimeter audio connections there so you could plug your phone straight into it i don't like to do that personally because i don't want the phone to be rattling around either on the in the glove box or on one of the cubby holes that are on the car uh, and plus sometimes you can have loss of quality as well so i won't be using those so if i just take the rest of the cables out of the box we won't be needing the box so i'll just put that down there as i say so that's the front of it where you plug in your connectivity options there and on the back you get a couple of adapters now as I say these are specific for each car so you may want to check out uh, make a model of your own car before uh, you check out the XCar link website but for in this example we don't need the extra adapters which are included so I'll get rid of those and you've got these pretty much you've got CD changer plug there that plugs into the CD changer uh, those are additional adapters there and then you've got the ground. So as you may have guessed already, what's going to happen is the head unit has a CD changer plug at the back of it. We're not going to be using a CD changer by the way. So all we're doing is plugging in this unit into the CD changer port along the back. So the head, as far as the head unit is concerned, it thinks it's got a CD changer connected and then you plug in your connectivity options there and it plays them as if it thinks it's a CD changer. So you can add your music to the SD card or USB connected media. It could be a hard drive that you plug in as long as it doesn't need another power source. But I'll show you what I'm going to be using. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead, I'll just turn that off for a second. I've already released the pins for this so it should slide out. And we'll just leave that to one side there. Now on the back of these head units, I'm just going to remove that aerial. It should just plug off. Yes, it does. On most head units, they do come out a little bit. So there we go. I'll leave that out a little bit. Okay. Most head units, you got a little diagram of what the plugs at the back do. Now it doesn't matter if you don't know what they do, just as long as you can read the, the diagram there. And you can see it says back block is power and the front block are speakers as per the illustration. I'll see if I can zoom in and just show you that a little bit. There you go, so you should be able to see that. You've got the power block at the back, then you've got speakers there, then you've got the data in and data out, which I'm presuming is a CD changer. So if you look at it like that, but there, You've got the power as it's symbolized in, the, in the, the diagram there along the back. 
next block down you got the speakers which is that one and the data which is spread over the three sections there because there's three ports one two and three far left one is the data being the CD changer so if we now get the connector from the X car link as it is there and just slot it straight in as it is that it's as easy as that pretty much so that's now should be getting power so I'm just gonna put the aerial back in and then we'll just zoom out a second so you can get to see that a little bit more and then all we're gonna do is just balance that on there I'm not gonna push it all the way in to be fair just to demonstrate it for you so there we go the radio's on if I just turn the volume up so you can hear it let's carry on on as normal so now you can route this way through to your glove box through the back end of the dashboard but I'm not going to bore you with that at this moment in time so you're going to say and um, you said you're going to show us how to do this with a micro SD card slot and as far as you can see you've got no options there for a micro SD card slot now you're right so what you can do is use a SD card adapter which fits into the micro SD card or you can use a USB adapter for the micro SD card slot as well or you can plug in your phone but I'm not going to do that now as I can't locate my SD card adapter I can't demonstrate that one for you but I can locate my USB adapter now what this is just bring it into shot hopefully you can see that you've got the USB port on the one side and along the back it's got a slot where the micro SD card slits in so in this example we're going to be using a 4 gigabyte model generic SD card so all you do is essentially plug that in push it all the way in and that's it and you can plug that into any USB port now and then see the contents of it the reason why we're using this is because it's easy to move across from PC to this all you do you're not damaging the SD card itself it's always in there so once you've downloaded your music from whatever website plonk it on this card and then all you do is go to your car and just plug it straight in and that's it so as I demonstrated the radius plane at the moment I'll just turn that up and we'll switch to CD turn the volume up a little bit and you should be hearing you can see there CD1 track 1 so it thinks a CD is playing and I'll turn that up and I'll shut up Turn that down a set. So no loss of quality. It's paying an MP3 track from the SD card, which we've got in via USB adapter, via the SX car link adapter into the back of the head unit. It's easy as that. All you need to be made aware of is when you put your music on your SD card, you need to organize it in folders. So those folders being CD01, CD02 because this is a replacement for their CD changer so that the head unit thinks it's got a CD changer plugged in you need to organize the music in such a way so create folders called CD01, CD02 and so forth and put your music in whatever order you want in those folders and then when you plug it in it'll start playing so watch if I unplug it it stops playing I'll plug it back in should pick it up again there you go plays the same track obviously the normal track controls as per the head unit are still the same go to next track plays those if you want to change CDs CD2 for example goes to CD2 track 1 and then it starts playing I think that Chris Brown CD that one next one fast forward to the next next track there you go CD4 I can't remember if I got 4 there you go track 2 of that 
There you go. That's TI's album there. And that's how easily you can use a micro SD card to play music on your standard head unit on your VW Golf. Any comments or questions that you guys have got, please hit them up in the comment section below there. Hit subscribe from the button up top there. It doesn't cost you anything and it's free and you can check out some of my forthcoming videos. Thanks for watching, have a good day and we'll see you next time.